Hey guys, Tony and Jill here, rolling with the bowl ends. So today, I'm not sure what we're going to get into. I think we're just going to go exploring. So come along with us and see what we can get ourselves into today. So while uh, exploring today, we found a little place that's kind of interesting. We never knew it was around here. We're in Hawking Hills, and we found a place called John Glenn's Astronomy Park. Uh, you guys know who John Glenn is. He's an astronaut from Ohio. Um, so... I guess this is kind of to honor his memory, and we're going to go walk inside and take a look and see what it's all about. I'm thinking this might be something that would be a little more useful at night. Let's see here. What they got here? Polaris the Guide. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what we're going for. I think you went through these. Yeah, this is for north. I think you went through those to see the constellations. I think she might be onto something. Tell you one thing, guys, it is very hot here in Ohio today. Oh. So I guess this was a lot of donors that made this possible. I guess with this, uh, View station over here, you guys can see the constellations. So I'm believing it probably would work very well in the evening hours. Kind of interesting, some of the stuff you just kind of stumble upon in your own backyard. Uh, me and Jill being originally from Ohio, and we spent a lot of time in the Hocking Hills area. I never knew this was here. Um, it looks reasonably new. That might be why. Never noticed it before. As I'm looking around, there's still some... You know, grass is not quite there yet. But uh, as soon as we let diesel go potty, we are going to uh, head on up the road and see what else we get into. So we decided to take a little walk. A little hike down through here. I'm not quite sure how far this hike is, but should be some pretty interesting things to look at. Got a little dog here. never been in this part of old man's cave this is the cedar falls area so you're exploring with this for the first time with us and if you can tell it's hot and we've been walking for a minute we weren't quite prepared for this either miss jill's got flip-flops on and the dog is like dragging us everywhere uh of course she doesn't understand old people who walk slow It's a pretty place. Hopefully we find the waterfall soon because it's getting hot. And it is definitely muggy. Check out these rocks. Isn't that cool? Well, everybody's trying to find a way to cool down today even though they got signs up everywhere saying no waiting or swimming and good social distancing. They're <laughs> standing, so it makes a difference. Yeah, it makes a difference. But it's an interesting little place to go for a little hike. This is when you know you are completely <laughs> out of shape because we are dying. Look at these stairs. Well, it's humid. And Stairmaster ain't got none on these yeah. stairs, I'm telling you. And it's 94 degrees with 100% humidity. Yeah, so probably about 100 degrees out here. So, yeah, it's hot. So, we're going to go up these stairs that we've been climbing, it seems like, for the last hour. Now, see, we're almost to the top. So, we're going to sneak up, over, and back up, and get some more. Well, as you can see, we made it up them steps. Diesel's back here saying, give me some water, give me some air conditioning. Uh -huh. Miss Jill is out here giving the dog some water. I think we're going to have to go find us a swimming hole ourselves. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, 
it is definitely a muggy muggy unprepared kind of improvised hike situation kind of day to day miss jill's got a little bit of insight for you too what you had to Row say number two don't wear a white shirt hiking because we can see there unless you're into that kind of thing well, after out hiking all afternoon and working up a good appetite, we're going to check this little Blackstone Grill out. We're going to grill up some good food here. Well, hopefully it's going to be good. Mmm, chicken sure smells good. It's okay. We had a nice little hike today. It's kind of amazing that you can still discover different places in a place you grew up. I mean, you know, things change. I guess that's the beautiful thing about RVing is no matter how many times you've been to some place, if you've been away from there for a while, something's always changed. Right. Not always, but biggest part of time, I guess. Uh, things have changed, or it might be just something you missed the first time. And you know, the one freedom that RV Life gives you is you can actually take off and go and see these things multiple times, and you might discover all new things each time you go to these places. It might be something simple like a new building, or you know, uh, they tore down a building and added something else, but... Yeah, like yeah, something different. It's like when we went down through Hocking Hills. Now we've been to Hocking Hills plenty of times. We've camped, but we actually hiked in a place today that we've never, either one of us has ever been to. Um, we found the John Glenn Astrological Center that they yeah. had there. That was something new that we had never seen before here. Um, but uh, so we've had some some interesting times just exploring our old backyard, so to speak. And uh, now that we've joined the Blackstone grill community we are getting ready to enjoy our barbecue chicken sandwiches courtesy of miss jill and myself out here frying them up on the grill and uh, yeah. of course a couple of hot dogs are getting made sure because the chicken's not good but however these are some amazing hot dogs if you've never had the nathan's hot dogs the jumbo ones or you're in for a treat. guys we want to thank you guys for hanging out with us today we're going to go ahead and put the feed bag on or replenish all that weight I lost walking around in the woods today. Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get to, uh, get to eating dinner here, and we'll see you guys down the road. You guys be safe out there. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.